please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. In this tutorial, we will explore a common issue where code that works in an integrated development environment, IDE, doesn't work as expected when executed as a standalone program. We'll focus on using Python 3 and the Pandas library to work with data. Pandas is a popular library for data manipulation and analysis in Python. It provides data structures and functions to efficiently work with structured data, such as CSV files, Excel spreadsheets, and databases. Often, you may write code that works perfectly in your IDE but encounters issues when run as a standalone program. This tutorial aims to help you understand and address such problems. Before we start, ensure that you have Pandas installed in your Python environment. If you don't have it installed, you can do so using pip. When you run code in an IDE like Jupyter Notebook or VS Code, the environment maintains state, and variables persist across cells or lines of code. However, when you run a standalone Python program, it starts fresh each time, and you might encounter issues due to differences in the execution context. Let's look at an example to illustrate this. This code works fine in an IDE. It creates a data frame and prints it without any issues. However, if you save it as a standalone Python script, example pandas underscore example dot py and run it from the command line, python pandas underscore example dot py, you might encounter problems. The issues you might face when running pandas code in a standalone program can include. In an IDE, you may have previously imported modules or libraries that are not explicitly imported in your script. Ensure that all necessary imports are present at the beginning of your script. In an IDE, variables might already exist due to previous code cells. In a standalone program, you need to initialize variables explicitly. If your code references data files using relative paths, ensure that the paths are correct when running as a standalone program. The working directory might be different in this context. In an IDE, you can run code cells in any order. In a program, the code executes sequentially, so the order of operations might matter. To troubleshoot and make your pandas code work in a standalone program. Double check imports and ensure all required libraries are imported at the beginning of your script. Initialize variables explicitly, even if they're defined elsewhere in your IDE. Check file paths for data sources and adjust them if necessary. You can use os.path to create reliable paths in a cross-platform way. Pay attention to the order of operations in your script. Make sure that each operation occurs after its dependencies. Use try except blocks to handle exceptions gracefully. For example, if you read a file, Wrap it in a try except block to handle potential file not found errors. Use if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore to define the code that should only run when the script is the main program. This can help prevent unintended code execution when the script is imported as a module. In this tutorial, We've discussed common issues you might encounter when using Pandas in a Python 3 standalone program as opposed to an IDE. By understanding these differences and following the troubleshooting steps, you can ensure your code works as expected in both contexts. Remember that robust, standalone code can save you time and headaches when you need to run your scripts in production or from the command line. Chat GPT